He has published his second book titled Breaking Away from Poverty. Welcome to Lunchtime News, Prophet. Oh, thank you, Memory. Good day to you, Zimbabweans. Beautiful. All right. What prompted you to write uh, this book, uh, Breaking Away from Poverty? Well, maybe just to start off with my background, uh, I was um, initiated into the Ministry of Christianity some years ago, and part and parcel of my call was to move from one country to another, uh, ministering and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. So of late, we have opened our branch in Johannesburg, South Africa, and uh, while it's in procession, uh, I was sent uh, shortly during the time of the Easter to come back to Bulawayo to open uh, our new branch. So while this, this was happening, this is where I saw you know, how poverty was ravaging the lives of many uh, Zimbabweans, particularly the Christian community. So with my heart feeling the grief and the pain of the suffering of the believers, I was prompted by the Holy Spirit uh, to write uh, this article, Breaking Away from Poverty. All right, and uh, as we go through your book, uh, we find out that it is a warfare against uh, poverty. And uh, some people might think that, uh, you know, winning a battle against uh, this, uh, you know, adversity is a pipe dream. And uh, in your own words, is this uh, really achievable? Yes, of course, it is uh, achievable. You know, when we were at school uh, doing business management, they say dreams, um, they say business goals or dreams are supposed to be smart, uh, which is specific. Uh, measurable, adjustable, uh, realistic, and caring time. But in the kingdom of God, uh, the Bible says, uh, Paul was writing, says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Mm -hmm. So we believe there is nothing that cannot be achieved. Uh, if only we can set uh, Christian values aside, put aside the uh, a diversity of principles as God is ushered uh, in our Christendom, uh, it's achievable. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the likes of... Uh, uh, Solomon in the Bible who became the richest man in his time. We've got people like Abraham who has possessed so much great amount of wealth. People like David, you know, just to mention but a few, who also achieved, uh, you know, great things in life, uh, you know, whether it was business, whether it was life in its ordinary sense, they, they did well. So it's achievable indeed. All right. So what are the first steps one has to take for a breakthrough? I know there's so much that, uh, you know, pastors or prophets that talk about, you know, in those times. So I just want us to take us through, you know, these are steps that one has to take for a breakthrough. Thank you. Uh, I can say uh, just for the elementary or the foundation, uh, let's take a look into the Bible and see what God did uh, to the man who was called uh, Adam. Uh, the first man was created by God. The Bible says God uh, gave him a garden. Uh, and uh, while God was visiting him and the relations uh, that Adam had in the garden, there was never any surgeons of loss. There was no surgeons of diseases. There was no surgeons of uh, poverty in the garden. Mm -hmm. Because the relationship between man and God, how it thrived, that's how also the business life of man thrived. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, we talk about uh, the relationship. Uh, are believers in a, a strong position whereby they are connected to God because everything starts with the relationship with God. So we have now in the 20th century church of health, health and prosperity, people who just say, I'm a believer, but mm. they don't have that connection. Yeah. You know, it's like any success of any marriage, uh, it is dependent on how connected the wife is from the husband. Mm. So the same thing like now, uh, if we're going to start as elementary foundation, we have to make sure that there is a strong relationship between believers and God. And, God. and from there, we can talk about everything else. Wow, profound. And, you know, after having done that, you know, challenges are seem to mount even more. What word of advice do you have when one is faced with such? Now, we see memory. Um, in the book of Proverbs 30, it says the word of God is tested and is a shield to those who seek refuge in him. So basically, the word of God can never fail. Mm -hmm. The word of God, it is true. It is yes and amen. So once one can begin to subscribe to the word of God, I can tell you that uh, there are chances of making it above mm -hmm. you know, what you expect. The Bible says to him is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than what we ask or more than what we pray for. So if anyone is found uh, you know, observing the principles of the word of God and is failing, that means say there is something wrong because the word itself it can't fail you. It can't fail you. It can All right, never. and uh, lastly, where can viewers get in touch with you? Uh, we have a branch.